What's up, YouTube? My name is Bedivere. Welcome to another episode of Zero to Hero. Today, we are going to be diving back into our Factorio playthrough, and it's going to be a good one. Uh, we, in the last episode, we started off doing our nuclear power and got that set up. In this episode, we're going to start robot production. So, as always, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like, click that subscribe button, as well as a little notification bell down there to let me know that you are enjoying the content and what to produce further. I also stream every Thursday and Sunday afternoon over at twitch.tv slash bedivere you can find all the links to all my socials in the description down below all right let's dive right into this playthrough and during during the playthrough uh or during this episode i'm gonna apologize in advance if you hear some landscaping stuff i don't know why they're doing it on a saturday but the apartment building is doing some landscaping today so i apologize in advance if you hear some of that they're chopping up trees all right so in today's episode, we are going to be starting on our, like, we're going to lay the foundations for our yellow science, but in reality, we're really going to start robot production, which robots are used in yellow science. So we're just going to lay down the factories needed for yellow science just to keep the spacing going. And the reason why we're lacking so heavily in rails is because our steel production is non-existent almost. And that is because we are running so short on iron plate or iron ore we haven't upgraded any of this stuff yet and like we're we're not even getting four full yellow belts and we need we need a lot more so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start tapping this iron patch and belt that over and kind of merge over and hopefully we can get eight full red lanes going but in order to build that i want to get some robots in our system just so that we can you know, build it a little easier and upgrade a little easier. So I'm going to lay the foundations of our robot situation first. All right. So robots are going to be part of our yellow science. So yellow science is going to be going on the same belt as purple. So if we can just copy paste and we'll pretty much do the same setup. Oh, and it'd probably help if I had power poles. So let me just go back up there and get some more power poles. All right, we got, I think we have all the resources we need. I may, might be wrong, whatever. If we are, we'll just go back up. Uh, okay, so this is going to be producing, have we not researched yellow signs? Yeah, let's go ahead and, and do that. All right, so we haven't even researched yellow signs rip uh but what we can do is i mean we weren't even going to start yellow science necessarily but we can lay the foundations of it it's going to have the same little thing here and if we look at the recipe for yellow science we can look at it through here it's going to need two blue processing units uh robot frame and three low density structures so right now we're just focusing on the robot frame because the robot frame is going to be used for um, for robot production, obviously. So I think we'll probably double it in order to get a little bit more throughput or not throughput, but we'll double it just to, to have robots being produced as well at, or at the same time as science. So let's go ahead and add that. This is going to be our other products. And this, this one down here is going to be our robots. All right, so we're gonna extend this out. What do the flying robot frames require? Steel, battery, electric circuit, and electric engine unit. The engine unit, that's gonna be our big one. So that needs lubricant, electric circuit, and engine unit. And then engine unit obviously needs all of that. So. How are we going to do that? <laughs> we'll do the engine unit first. Yeah, we'll do that. So just to give us some room. Whoops. Just to give us a little bit of room. Okay. 
So we'll make engine units here, which need two products. Let's go ahead and add them both here. The engines, let's see what they need. Pipes, actually, let's see how many we need to make first. So if we're gonna double this flying robot frame production, then we're gonna need two electric engine units per second and two electric engine units per second need two regular engine units. So we're gonna need four pipes, two gears, and two steel plate. All right, let's look at the recipe for pipes. So this makes one or two every second. So we're gonna need two factories making this. And I think we're only gonna need one factory making the gears. That's two per second. Yeah, and we only need two per second. Okay. So how are we going to do this? I think I had, yeah, I had this thing going, right? Probably just copy this. Do, do, do. Okay, so we can we can kind of go go from there. Delete that. This will be that. There we go. Okay, we don't really need this because that was the the sulfuric acid coming through. This will be the steel right here. So steel will come through on this belt. Ah, uh, I need more of this. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll probably just get, we'll get them from here. There we go. That's enough. And then we'll connect all of this. Where's the steel coming from? Steel is coming from, oh, right here. All right, let's bring the steel all the way down and make that connection. And then that should be good to go. Okay, so steel is going in. Now we need the iron for the pipes. Iron's gonna be coming through on this belt. And let's do priority, right? Boom. something like that so then it's going to be taking the iron off the middle here and then putting it on these belts so then the the pipes are going to be on this first belt and then the other two are going to be on the second belt this iron plate is just going to be pushing it on the inside of the belt. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I only need this on one side of the belt, sorry. Boom, like that, my bad. All right, so let's go ahead and grab input there as well as input there. And then we are gonna be bringing our output up. So how many do we need of these to make to make two per second? I'm gonna need 20 assemblers. So let's go ahead, copy this setup right here. Put that down 20 times. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's put another copy down and just double that to make 20. All right, let's put our belts down first so that we can run across them as we go up. Perfect, we'll delete that one. Run back with the power poles. Bring our engines up. And then run down with the assemblers.
All right, let's put our inserters in. There we go. Whoops. Wrong side. So we got our regular engines taken care of. What's this? Oh, don't need it. Don't need that. Um, this is going to be our robot input stuff. So then our regular engines. What do our regular engines need again? Or not regular, but electric. They need the engine units. As well as the electronic circuit. So. We might want to put both of these on the same belt. So if that's the case, maybe we need to bring will this fit. Something like that. Hmm. It won't there. Uh, if they're going on the far side of the belt, and I bring it the other way. I might, I might loop it back this way. I might loop it back this way so that I can turn it and then put green circuits on this side of the belt. And then go like so. And then these will be the electric engines. Turn that to the middle, add pipes that go like so. And then I can output the electric engines. What else do they need? What else do, they, what else do, do these need? They need steel plate and electric engine unit. So the steel plate is already on this line. I could, I could do something a little sneaky. Let me output. So if I output here onto a belt going this way, it's gonna be on the outside, right? This is already on the outside of the belt. So if I bring it down, add it there, and bring it down this way. Ooh, that, that'll kind of look cool. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, we'll take from the near side and then insert on the long side. And then that'll be our, our blueprint. I haven't, I don't think I've done it like this before. Um, and then how many seconds does that take? That takes 10 seconds. So we're going to need 20 of those as well. So let's get to 10. So that's six, eight, 10. Copy that down. And then that's 20. And then this output right here, this middle lane output is only gonna be electric electric engines. And I want that to go with these steel plates. And obviously like doing it like this will prioritize the production of electric engines before, or regular engines before the electric engines. That's fine. So how many steel does this need? This will need two. And then these will need uh oh no 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 these will need two as well so it's only four per second and that fits perfectly it fits fine on a yellow belt all right so let's go ahead and we don't want to have the gears on it still so we're going to filter those out like that where we have a filter of the steel plate yeah let's put the steel plate there that's fine Let's pick up those gears. The steel plate will come down here and merge with that. Perfect, awesome. That'll look cool. All right, let's hop on the belt, do our power poles first. All right, and then let's go back and do our assemblers. Nice. 
And then we can do probably our pipes next. Let's go ahead and keep that. Whoops, too far. There we go. Finish that up. There, okay. Now let's bring this belt all the way down. And then we will add our inserters on the way back. So yeah, this is a kind of cool little alternative way. Because usually I'd probably loop it down once again, but I don't know. I guess we're saving a couple rows. And it's just a different way to play it. Or a different way to set it up, which is fine. Alright. So, let's bring down our lubricant. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to our map. Let's copy down our... This concrete, this concrete one. There. Right. Okay, this is confusing me right now. There we go. be should be another one of these should be two more actually boom boom and then the long one oh no this is the fluid bus right here where's our lubricant did i not bring it down i should have are we making lubricant yeah, we are. Okay. Lubricant. I just never brought it down. <laughs> okay. I guess that's something that we got to do this episode. We'll drive up and bring down the lubricant. Lubricant. Well, I think we lubricant. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. If you want dad jokes like that, be sure to follow my Twitch channel. And join me on Twitch. We just got affiliate and it's been fun. Shameless plug. All right. We'll go up, get our lubrican, get our lubrican. All right. There we go. Uh, do I have enough room to take this out? No, I don't. Gotta do like that. No, I guess it's fine. Well, who put these power poles here? Who thought that that was a genius idea? Definitely not me. There we go. Oh, this is going to be an issue. All right, so it'll come down here and then come down here. And kind of do a little crisscross, crisscross deal. There we go. All right, let's get the underground belt situation here settled. There we go. 
That's still rocking and rolling. Now, oh wait, hold on. Where's the sulfuric acid? Is that on the third one? Okay, so we need to bring this on the fourth one, actually. Sorry, guys. Change of plan. Bring this one down here. There we go. And then we can also bring the lubricant to our, our production hub. Yeah! Come on. Here we go. We'll just drive all the way down. Not screw anything up. I almost swore there again. All right. We'll add all of this stuff to, to the line as well. Uh, this can actually be gone. I don't need this. Hmm. Let's do like that. So I can go across. Because there wouldn't have been room to do any underground underground belts here. Boom. And that is how you do it. Connect that. That's filling up. Perfect. So that's connected to our mall. Now we just need to bring it down further. Ah, can't crash. Here we go. Come on, be enough. Boom. All right. So that is all settled. We got lubricant going in. What else do we need? Let's turn this bad boy around. All right, so we got the engines coming in. That's fine. We need green circuits. Green circuits are going to be coming from, we'll put that line right here. I know it's not in the best of spots. We'll just do like that. All right, let's get this going this way. Lots of underground belts, lots of underground belts. Copper, then this is going to be our green circuit. I put priority right. Boom. I'm just hoping that we have enough to bring down. Oops. There we go. I was actually, the bus was actually closer than I thought. Cool. And then let's just, I was going to bring down the rest, but I guess, I guess not. All right. Let's go get some more. Actually, let's just make sure that. We got everything going. Okay, so these are good to go. That's gonna come down this way. Then we got two of the products. We got the steel and the electric engine unit covered. Now we just need the battery and the green circuit. Well, the green circuit is already coming, you know, already coming down here. I can probably just split off a branch. Let's go get more belts. Uh, more yellow belts, please. Let's go ahead and recycle all this stuff. Here we go, 800, plenty, plenty. Let's go ahead and head back down. And hopefully these new robots will help supply what our factory needs. Uh, let's go ahead and research while we can. 
Let's do the utility science. We're gonna need that. Cool look the faction. Oh, there's new icons. Nice. All right. We're gonna need power armor in order to use use our robot. So let's go ahead and do the power armor first. Is there the robo port? Personal robo port. What do we need here? It's a portable solar panel, obviously. Robo port. Yes, please. After the solar panel, we're gonna need batteries. Yep. Honestly, we can just go over here. Discharge defense, maybe not. Mark two, maybe not. We'll just we'll we'll just go off of that for now. Okay, so then the next the next thing that we're gonna need is going to be our robots. We're gonna need two spaces here for inputs. Robots are gonna go here. Awesome. And then output here. And go through here. Perfect. And then that output will be split. Will be split going this way. Perfect. Oh, I forgot it to add lights. Or forgot it. <laughs> Did I really just say forgot it? I forgot it to add lights. Oh my god. English. English. Um, okay. Why isn't this going? Oh, I need the green circuits. There we go. Green circuits coming inbound there. So that's going to come in here. What else do we need for these? Batteries, batteries, batteries. Uh, so this is going to probably split. I'm going to use underground belt to go this way how do I want to do this do something like that and then put batteries on the outside or the other side of it. What do I need? Iron plate. There we go. And then batteries are gonna come on the opposite side of the belt. Batteries, batteries, batteries are on this one. Where are they? Come here batteries. We need you. Here we go. Perfect. And then batteries are gonna be going on the outside. So how do I wanna do that? Cause usually I could just do it here. Awesome, and then just underground underground around for the rest of the stuff. Perfect. So that's batteries and green circuits ready. Let's go ahead and add our inputs. Uh, yellow inserter and then red inserter and then yellow inserter out. All right, let's go ahead and copy that down. We're gonna need 20 of these, I believe, to double it. Oh, we're gonna need 40. Uh, shoot. We're gonna need 40. Then these are gonna have to go a little bit further down. Okay, so let's just add whatever we can there. We'll paste, and this will be four. 
6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And then we'll go ahead and copy this entire thing to be 40. And then I got some grenades to help us out here with defeating Mother Nature, because that's what we do here in Factorio. We're not nature fans. You know, we obviously in real life we are, but in Factorio, we, in Factorio, we gotta we gotta role play, you know? We're taking over the colony or the planet. Okay, then these are gonna go all the way up. I'm thinking if I can split that belt, that might work. We'll we'll figure that out first. But we'll we'll, we'll place everything down first and then we'll figure out how we're going to belt everything up. Let's use the power poles next. And then last but not least, once we get to the end, we are going to do the assembly machines. All right, so we finished placing everything down. We just need to figure out a way to get the rest of this stuff. What's, what's going on here? Where's our, our, our steel is non-existent. Um, okay, so how can we work this? I can actually, let me do something a little sneaky. Add a splitter right here. Have this one going this way and this one going this way. Nice. Perfect. That works. We just need a steel and lights. I don't have any lights. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead, go up, get our lights, light everything, and then we'll we'll go from there. All right, so I lit up this branch, or not branch, come on. And then, uh, so we lit up this branch, and I also added, I added in robo ports to this little slot in between the smelters and the wires, and also the substations over here. Uh, so if you're following along, Pause the video. I just added those two. Grabbed a couple of the robo ports and we are gonna need a couple of them. So what this is gonna do is we're gonna split this now. We're gonna split this in half and half of the, we're gonna be producing, let's see, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna be taking in here. Oh, wait, whoops. I'm gonna be making each here. So then this is gonna be a construction robot. This is gonna be a logistics robot. And then we'll place our power poles there. And then they're gonna insert into chests. And then from there, Actually, do I have any of these? I do not. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some red circuits real quick. Because since we're going to be starting our logistics network, it makes sense to have some logistics chests. So let's make one, two, three, four of these. Actually, all five. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna put my electric engines into here just to recycle a little bit. All right, and then we are going to be putting, let's see, we're gonna be putting the storage chests here. And then um, we need the robo ports, robo ports, here we go. All right, let's 
Both of these need power. All right. Now, these two things also need belts. Or not belts, but circuits. So what, what I can do is I can belt in circuits there. We'll elongate that to go all the way. Oh, and I need any more underground belts. Uh, I need iron plate, iron plate. There we go. We'll need green circuits and red circuits. So green circuits are going to be coming along this belt here. And I'm going to put these to the inside. All right, let's do something like that. And then the underground there. And then another underground here. And then have our priority stuff going like so actually I don't need that one there we go and then the red circuits where are they they're on the inside here put the red circuits there with something like that and then split them off there we go now I'll have red and green circuits going down and then let's get an inserter for here so now this this is creating construction robots and obviously it's not creating much and then they go straight into the system. So what this will do is let's let's use our circuit conditions right now. So we want to read out both of these. Okay. Read robot statistics. Read robot statistics. All right. So what this will do is we have a large logistics network. So the logistics network is this orange space, right? And then anything connected to that, you see that orange space expands. When you get a gap, it, it's not connected anymore, right? So once they're connected, this acts as one big logistics network. So what this is reading right now, so there's two construction robots in this rubber port and they're both available. So it'll read the signal X will have a number connected to it. And you see the, the network four right here. This is everything in network four. Um, but that's, that's a topic for a different discussion or that's a discussion for a different topic. I mean, so this signal X is the keyword or key signal that reads all the logistics bots that are available in the in the system. Y has total logistics bots. Z is the number of available construction bots and T is the total construction bots. So total and available are two completely different things. Total is all the bots that are available or all the bots that are in the system, whether they're available or currently have a task assigned to them. What we're trying to do is read the available construction bots. So if we have say, a 2,000 construction bots total in the system. A thousand of them are moving or are building something. Then we have 1,000 available. So we want to have a decent sized buffer so that if we have a big construction project, we're not lagging behind, right? So right now, if we look in the right here, number of available robots, we have zero logistics and zero construction or two construction bots, because there's two construction bots in here and they're not assigned to any task, so they're available. So this chest is going to be the one holding the construction bots. So we wanna add construction bots to our system when, what was the signal for available? Z. When the signal Z 
is less than 10,000. So we want to have 10,000 available, available construction bots in our system. So until we reach the 10,000 available, this will keep on plugging construction bots into the system. Okay. Now for this, what's the available logistics? This is going to be our logistics hub. That's going to be X. So we're going to set this signal to, excuse me, sorry. I flooded, I swatted, I had to swat a fly. Um, enabled when X is less than 10,000. Let's make sure that this is less than as well. Yeah, Z is less than 10,000. All right, perfect. So now this is pretty much set up. I wanna, I wanna make one more robo port. What do I need? Uh, steel, iron gears, and advanced circuits. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Actually take these two construction bots and let's set the bottom here to be our construction bot. Awesome. Perfect. So that is the essentially the very beginnings of our robot network, right? Now, obviously we're not building too much because we don't have any freaking steel coming in. Like the steel is ridiculous. Where's the... Oh, our engine's there. So we got, we gotta wait till there's a backup which freaking sucks. Uh, let's actually place down a radar too while we're out here. Uh, we'll place it in this little pocket here because that's where we need it. So we'll just extend this power pole out and add a radar. All right. I think, I think I'm gonna cut this video here. That was our robots setup. So we have everything set up for robots. Uh, let me just make sure that it's also connected to our yellow science. Okay, so the robots are gonna be coming through here, through here, and then eventually here. And then we got another frame right there. So this is gonna be our yellow science. This is gonna be our yellow science. And we don't really need to do anything else yet in regards to that. Yeah, see all these? That's all stuff that's within our logistics network that needs to be constructed by bots. So that's why you get all those, all the yellow stuff here. All right. I think that's gonna that's gonna end it for, for this video. In the next video, we have a huge, huge project to undertake. We're extremely short on iron, as you can see, right here. And that iron is also affecting our, our steel production. And that's our, our big bottleneck as well with the later production or production lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna consolidate. We're gonna make all of this red belt and we're gonna make all this red belt to kind of delete the excess miners here. And we're gonna tap this iron mine. Hopefully we get enough to where we get eight full red belts of iron plate and then we'll upgrade all of this as well to red belts and hopefully hopefully cross our fingers that should be enough as always thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate it if you like the like the video make sure to smash that like button click the subscribe button as well if, if you haven't as well as the little notification bell down here and then if you want a little bit more one-on-one -on -one content with me or you want to see any other strategy games that i might play i do stream every thursday and sunday afternoon over at twitch.tv slash bedivere all the links to all my socials including twitch twitter instagram everything in the description down below all right that's all for me y'all i'll catch you next time stay safe peace